Hi, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Kingdom Upgrades YouTube, Facebook. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Let's connect here where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality. Manifesting in the culture where glory becomes tangible. The place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where there is growing excellence in glory. The Lord bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Let's look at this here. Today's day five. We're here and we're looking at... Today we're looking at when peace is in your boat, okay? The focus is distractions will come. Day one, distractions will come. Day two, he gives peace. Who gives peace? Jesus gives peace. Our peace came through Jesus Christ and will continue to come through Jesus Christ, okay? Day three, we look at peace. Peace is the, the source of peace, okay? Day four, we look at the manifestation of peace. Christ is the manifestation of peace. Peace comes from him. He is a source of peace. He is peace, okay? So he whose mind is stayed on Christ will be kept in perfect peace, okay? So when peace is in your boat, you will have perpetual peace because Christ is peace. So we are here today. And let's look at, do you know to walk in perpetual peace? It is your faith that is most important because you must have faith. Without faith, it is impossible to keep your mind on Christ because you have to keep your mind centered on his word. Okay, because you get to know him through his word. So it is your faith to believe the word of God. Because remember, faith comes by hearing and by the hearing of the word of God. So more you hear the word of God, your faith will be more established. And you'll be able to keep your mind stayed on Christ. So it is your faith in his word that will lead you on to keeping your mind stayed on him. So let's flow here. We're in Matthew chapter 14. Jesus walks on the water. Come on. I'm reading from verse 22. Immediately, he directed the disciples to get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. While he sent the crowd away, after he had dismissed the crowds he went up on the mountain by himself to pray when he was when it was evening he was there alone but the boat by that time was already a long distance from land tossed and battered by the waves for the wind was against them okay i'm at verse 25 and in the and in the fourth watch of the night Jesus came to them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the, on the sea, they were terrified and said, Is it a ghost? <laughs> Hallelujah. And they cried out in fear. But immediately he spoke to them saying, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter now, Still have some doubt. Hear what he said. Peter replied to him, Lord, if it is really you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Okay, so Jesus said, come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he was, sorry, when he saw the effects of the wind, he was frightened and he began to sink and he cried out lord save me immediately jesus extended his hands and caught him saying to him oh you of little faith why did you doubt come on <laughs> and when they got into the boat the wind ceased then those in the boat worshipped him with awe inspired reverence 
saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Verse 34. When they had crossed over the sea, they went ashore at Genesaret. Let's look at this briefly here. Jesus sent them ahead because he had a plan. Okay? He wanted to appear to them in a different way. Okay? Jesus sent them ahead of him and the boat was already in the middle gone off land. And this, the wind had already had the better part of the better part of them and was affecting them. So at that time Jesus began to walk on the water. Okay? Approaching them. When <laughs> when they saw him coming, they didn't recognize it was him. They thought it was a ghost. Anyhow, he identified himself. And he said it is I. Okay? So immediately Peter had some doubts. So Peter said, well, if it is you, Lord, bid me come. Like a big boy, bid me come. So he got out of the boat and he began to walk towards Jesus. But with that, when he saw the effects of the wind, he began to sink because... He, he kept his eyes on the waves, the wind, and the effects of the wind, what the wind was doing, okay? What the wind was causing, because the wind would have caused the waves to get bigger, and he was looking at the effect of the wind. So, he took his eyes off of Jesus and was focusing on the, wa the wind and the effects of the winds. And with that, he began to sink, and he cried out to Jesus, and Jesus met out his hands and hold him and the most important part is everything was happening the waves the wind and everything and when jesus held his hand and entered the boat with him there was a calm everything ceased okay the reality is when peace is in your boat you would have peace and perpetual peace because jesus is peace he is the prince of peace okay so when jesus is in your boat you will have perpetual peace and you will not look at the effect or the effects of the wind of the wind because the wind the effects of the wind will literally distract you so your primary focus in this hour is to keep your mind stayed on christ if you begin to look at the effects of the wind you will become distracted and you will not be able to get where god is taking you or where your intended destination because in crossing over your situation in crossing over would not be mine in this hour but we're all moving progressively towards a place of greater glory in god and we are different place and different stage in our lives different stage of maturity but one thing is required of us all is for us to keep our mind stayed on christ it doesn't matter where you are how mature you are in this hour listen to me the adversary is not your friend and you're not too old <laughs> you're not too old or mature for satan never the day you need to keep your mind stayed on christ because it is the Spirit of God that is going to charter your course in this hour. Come on. And if your mind is not stayed on Christ, you will become distracted and your boat will sink. Whatever the distraction might be, that's not your interest. Your interest is to keep your mind stayed on Christ. Because in you keeping your mind stayed on Christ, the Spirit of God will charter your course. He is the one who is going to help you to navigate. Okay? Because when we begin to look at the effects of the wind, we will go down. We will sink. We will lose our joy. We will lose our peace. Everything. And the focus of the adversary is to steal your joy, is to steal your peace, is to get you distracted, cause confusion, create confusion, get you distracted, and then devour you. Come on. Get this. Listen to this. A lot of us, I pray discernment. 
and we ought to desire discernment in this hour. It is for the lack of discernment that we will be devoured. Because the adversary is like a roaring lion. He is not a roaring lion. Okay? He is not a roaring lion. The word of God declares that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. And he's going to lift the standard in you and I life. But the standard will only be lifted when we keep our mind stayed on Christ. The standard in your life could never be lifted when your mind is not stayed on Christ. Because it is Christ who has to lift the standard. It is your faith in God. And you keeping your mind stayed on Christ that you will be able to navigate. Because you cannot do this in your own self. In your own strength. You don't have the strength. You don't have the wisdom. God is wisdom. Okay? Wisdom comes from God. And if your mind is stayed on Christ, you would have the wisdom. He would navigate the storms. He would ride the wave. He would surf the wave. The waves. Okay? And you're, you're going to get to your destination safely. So in this hour, keep your mind stayed on Christ. I cast down imagination and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And I take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ in this hour. And this in this hour, you need to be praying that prayer. Taking every thought captive, every thought that is out of control and is out of the obedience of Christ, bring them thoughts. Bring those thoughts into the obedience of Christ and take them captive to the obedience of Christ. That your thoughts will be stayed on Christ in this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because confusion is a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Satan, the Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. Manda Ramando Rebecca Tarabande. The Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. So keep your mind stayed on Christ. Okay? The Lord bless you. Shalom.